first time I chose to use Peak Optima was about two years ago. There was a 26-year-old man who was involved in a high-speed motorcycle accident. He had multiple injuries, including an open fracture of his proximal humerus. His proximal humerus was a three- or four-part fracture, very highly comminuted, really created a challenge, and uh, it really required uh, an extraordinary effort to, uh, to achieve what I would think would be a satisfactory reduction. The traditional use of uh, metallic implants in orthopedic trauma has been around probably 50 to 60 years. And the standard at the beginning was always stainless steel type implants. Uh, as time evolved, um, the migration for many implants has gone towards titanium or titanium alloys um, for their better uh, modulus of elasticity, uh, the benefits towards fracture healing as far as that goes. So the big drawbacks uh, to conventional metal uh, from a clinician's point of view um, have been visualization of fractures, which is obviously more difficult uh, as metal implants are not radiolucent. A lot of times uh, fixation will fail before the fracture is healed. Uh, we refer to the race of fracture healing versus fatigue failure. Uh, and oftentimes, uh, if we just wait a little bit longer, the fracture will go on to heal if the implant has an adequate fatigue life. But there are some situations because of the, of the bone that's been injured or the location of where that bone is injured, you need to hold those bones together for a longer period of time. For me, the most important property of the trauma device is uh, strength and durability. We want something that's durable. Uh, it's going to have a, a high uh, fatigue rate uh, or more cycles to fatigue. The next more, most important factor would be the modulus of elasticity. Dealing with bone also you want something as close to normal cortical bone uh, modulus of elasticity wise to, to get uh, most ideal or, or biologic type fixation. And then third for me would be the radiolucency, uh, being able to visualize a fracture. Being able to see exactly what you're doing is a huge benefit. Uh, it forces you as a surgeon to be better, to be more accurate, and I think that ultimately is a benefit for the patient. You have a circumferential view with no blocks to visualization, which um, is very helpful for assessing union and allowing you to progress with your uh, post-operative rehab course. The Peak Optima Ultra Reinforced is radiolucent and so it allows you to visualize your fracture um, allowing a more anatomic alignment. You are able to visualize the progression of healing. If you notice that there is a change, you're going to see it earlier. You're not going to be uh, looking through a metal plate. I think that, that the increased flexibility of the Peak Optima implants does allow for, for quicker and, and more rapid bone growth uh, bone, um, and healing of the fracture. What I've seen in my practice is that osteoporotic patients who are smokers, who are not healthy people, are having the same healing rates or better than patients who are young, healthy, with standard metal implants. And it's been a huge boon to my patients' expectations. Getting them back to their, their quality of life, their level of activity uh, as soon as you can, um, whether that's a week faster or a month faster, um, patients notice that. Um, you know, if you tell them going in that it's going to take you three months to heal this fracture, but at two months it looks great, um, you know, they're very happy and you look like a, a stellar surgeon. I'm passionate about the material. I've been using it for about two years in the proximal humerus. Um, I've been very, very pleased with the outcome of those patients. Uh, I haven't seen any failures or complications related to its use. Um, I think as more and more surgeons see the visibility that the material provides, I think it may catch on. Um, certainly as we address some of the problem areas, especially around the distal femur, 
Uh, once a plate's available that is radiolucent around the distal femur, I think it's going to really catch on. I think most importantly, this product let him heal a very, very difficult fracture with but one operation. Um, certainly with a metal implant, I think I may have been led to intervene sooner. Well, you know, he's certainly satisfied with his outcome. I don't think he knows, you know, how bad his fracture is, even though I try to tell him that it was really, really bad. Um, but he knows that he's recovered. He's gone back to his work. He's gone back to his sports and athletic activities. Uh, and he's happy with his life again.